Hello YouTubers and my good old subscribers. Um, I'm going to show you how to send messages from Max MSP to a program called VVVV, where I'll put the link to that program in the sidebar and also to Max. Um, so to begin with, we'll want to just work with VVVV for a minute. So we'll just make a renderer, which will bring up a little window like this. So we'll just stretch that on the bottom. Yeah, and we'll just create a camera, which will just you can like change the position of where you're looking. Put the picture already set to. Right, and we'll just set that to zero, and we'll just create a fun directional, which is all to do with lighting. But you can attach a mesh to it, which is what we need to connect text to. And you see, we've got the text that's in there on the window there. So we'll just get rid of that. I've got loads of different settings on there, like extrusion, set that up a bit. And we want to create something called UDP, but the network server option. And that'll just create a box like that. And we're going to send messages with text based messages from MaxMSP to VVVV. So we want to do something called S and H which is just string and hold which will send a message in there and just hold it rather than sending just a quick flash of a message okay so we'll just double right click and press string and just inserts that there so now I've got all that set up there we haven't attached it to this yet We'll just touch it to that anyway, just to show what happens. So we're going to max now and create a box called UDP send localhost, which is the name of just your computer, and the port 4444, because that's the port that's there. So we'll create a message box which says hello, and we'll attach it to the input there. So when we press that, it should come up with hello, which is pretty cool. And we can also do something else which will like send messages to it constantly, which we can put a metronome there. Every half a second it will send out a bang. Put a toggle up there so we can turn it on and off. And a bang there. And we'll put a counter in it. Just so we can select which which message we want to bang first. So this will go zero one zero one. If we put and it gets to the maximum, which is two, it'll reset immediately. Let's go one two one two. Let's put a message box, a number box in there, just to show you what happens. Control Shift A, just to make everything look a bit neater. And we'll put in a little command here, which is if the first input we've put dollar sign i for integer, which is just the number. If it was a 0.001, it'll be an f rather than an i. And we'll do one because it's the first input. And we'll do two equals because it's the same as zero. Then we'll send a bang. So if the counter sends out a zero, then that message will be sent through to to VVVV, and we'll do another message. Perhaps it says world, and we'll just copy that across and change the zero to one. So if it's one, then that'll get sent over to VVVV. Okay, so see if this works. Yep, there we go. Get sent over to VVVV. Now I'm still working out how to do it with numbers rather than just message boxes. So once I figure out how to do that, then I'll post up another video just to let you know. And if you want any to learn anything else, then just send me a message on YouTube, and I'll try and do a tutorial on it. Okay, so I'll see you later, YouTubers.